Alright guys, welcome to your 13th Android tutorial. Today we're continuing the database and we're now going to get our values and we're actually going to start inserting records into the database. So inserting records is actually quite simple once we got the database all set up and going. So I'm actually going to start the emulator now and we're just going to call it old phone because this one starts the quickest and is the fastest in general. So now that that's done we can let that run. So what we want to do is we want to create a new constant up here called squall light database and we're going to call it db that's, that's just what I generally use for squall light database I have to import android.database as squall light, dot squall light database now in our on create view we're going to set up our database so db equals uh, db helper dot I've actually made a mistake I have to create a database helper object so uh, db helper uh, db helper equals new basic java errors gotta love them and I've made a few myself. There we go. Okay, guys. So I've changed, modified our constructor a little bit. Um, I just put a string for ver or int in for version and changed factor to null because because we we just need to do that. Um, just a little thing you need to know. But anyway, now we need the um, context. So the database has to be accessed via a context and the context for this fragment changes depending on which activity it's in which screen it's in is which context so if we say get activity okay that will get the context of the activity that it's in and allow us to access the database good stuff so db equals db helper dot and we want to get writable database Okay, so we've got our database, we've got a writable database now. And then it's going to inflate our view, blah de, blah de, blah de, blah de, blah. So remember how it, uh, um, it was able to reset the uh, Android database? It was reset, it was uh, just setting our values to text comments. So we're actually going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of all this, and we're just going to keep our strings and our edit texts. So how to get our database now to insert these values into it well we're going to say content values okay that's what we, that, that's the object we need cv because new content values okay so what content values essentially are is a package so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to pack we're going to take all our values for our row, each of the rows, we're going to package them up into a content value and then tell the database to insert that data into its own row. Fair enough. Now we could, you know, make an executable statement. We could say db.insert and then insert into and insert the data, but it's very messy and very easy to muck up. So we're going to put our database, our values into a content value object and then put that content value object into the database and it'll process in the background away from us. So cv dot put. Now our key, and it says it's boolean values. You can put any value in, but a uh, key is what the uh, type, the name of the row we want to put into. So we're going to say db helper. Remember, this is why we set them up as static. Dot name. So now it's going to insert into the row that's called this, which is our text here. This is why things like if I was just writing in name there and I misspelled it, we get an error. And our value we're going to put in is called name or name, which is referring to this string up here. Remember, if I just highlight them, the string name which we get from our thing. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing again. Dot put 
db helper dot comment and then we're going to say comment and cv dot put and we're going to say um, other in what was other let me actually have a quick look at our layouts sorry i have uh, other apps i'm working on um new activity next to Melisado. Yeah, other. So we're actually going to change this to email, okay? So we're going to edit hint and we're going to make a new string. We're going to say email. The string we email. So that makes sense. Good. So now obviously it's called other in. So we're just going to change this to email. To make to, just to make things a little bit easier to understand. Dot email. Oops. And then we're going to say email. And uh, yes, we need to get the value there. So now that we've done that, now we need to get the system time. Remember, because if the column time. In fact, we're going to ignore the time column for now. Um, we might do that another time, but that's going to involve data, date objects. And I really don't like working with dates in Java. It's simple, but it's complicated. I don't really like it, to be honest. Okay. So now we're going to package up these content values and get ready to insert. So I need to db.insert. So what table are we inserting our database values into? Well, we're going to say... Uh, DB helper dot database name table name okay null column hack will just be null values CV a content value object so now each time we put this in it will insert into the database so we're going to click run and we're going to bring up our console here and just change over to make sure that's installing but our phone is there ready to go. We have the emulator up. Ah, yes, started. Press me. Oh, yeah, I have to get into our thing here. And we've got a force close. What's wrong now, I wonder? Okay, guys, so I actually solved the problem. Um, it was actually a fragment error. Um, the context was incorrect. Remember this get activity was up here? You need to set you need to split it like this create the database helper and then initialize it the reason is that um during the fragments lifecycle we haven't actually attached to any activity at this point these are only values and they are variables so then when we created the database helper object when we're uh, on create view which means we've gone past on attach because fragments go on attach on create on create view on stop on pause on detach and all the other things so we haven't actually created, we didn't actually attach to an activity, so we couldn't get the activity we were attached to yet. So anyway, so let's do that, so we'll press me. Okay, so we're gonna name P A D D. So P, okay, so it's not showing up, we'll just type it in here. Hmm. Go away keyboard. Yeah, so we'll just throw random values in, okay? Just to see what we get. Jack. Price. These, okay? We're just going to put in random values. It doesn't care what the data is. And then we're going to say comment. So now that should be in our database. How do we tell, though? Well, I'm going to use a little tool that I love, and I'm going to put it in a link in the next video, or maybe even this video, a link to it. But if we go up, we're going to make this now full screen. And we're going to go over here to our DDMS. Now what this is essentially is, is a little tool that will allow us to open our database and view it in a table format. It's a very cool tool. I love it a lot. So we're going to say cell object squall light browser. This is a special tool that you can insert into Eclipse. So the database on your device is actually stored under data. Data. And then we're going to find our package. Um, com.twistedequations.android.txt is our package name databases 
Oh, and there's a database. Okay, so we're going to click up here in this little button. Open. So now we found our database. And look, here's our schema, our titles. So if we go into comments table, fair enough, browse data, comments table. So as you can see, it inserted a record ID1, about gallery, jack price, this, and no time value. So that allows, that, that allows us to check that our database is in. Now you can only do this on emulators and rooted devices get access to this data, data folder. On normal, on normal devices you can't. So I recommend routing your uh, phone if you're prepared to do that. So that's that inserted now, and that's this video. So the next video, we're going to actually start building a, we're gonna build a list activity or a list view that will update each time, and it's gonna be quite complex this database structure gets. You'll notice after a while that the databases, you know, Android tends to, it tends to be like a pile of matchsticks, and if one matchstick breaks, the whole tower comes down in a heap. Um, it's the same with any code, like we're basing, you know, we're building a database and you have to go in now the database, you have to make sure everything's correct, make sure that oh, it can get crazy. But anyway, that's this video guys, as always, it's been good talk, we'll see you out there.